Good afternoon, everyone. Hellcat Granny here. It's an amazing day again. It's 50 degrees outside. It's really not bad, except the wind is a little chilly. Looks like the dirt is getting ready to blow again. Maybe some dirt off in the distance is going to be blowing in. We had that yesterday. Yesterday was an amazing day here in Lubbock. We started out slightly cloudy. Then it cleared off and we had several hours of just a beautiful sunshine, warm day. Then in the afternoon, it started getting all slightly cloudy and then the wind started a little bit and we had another one of those dirt storms. It wasn't too bad. Of course, I stayed inside. So I guess I can say it wasn't too bad. Then we got a little bit of rain just to make it turn that into some muddy drops and stuff on our everything around us. Our weather is so strange now. Of course the wind blows quite a bit here in Lubbock. I think there's going to be some strong weather systems moving through all week is what I understand. I don't really watch the news anymore. I don't like the negativity and I prefer just give me the facts and I can figure out what I, my beliefs are and what they said and what it means. I don't need all these commentators telling me what their opinion is and what they, their propaganda, at any rate that's propaganda in my mind. So I just don't watch it. I guess where I am headed. I am going to visit this thirsty girl's favorite place to be in all this world. We're down to three quarters of a tank. And at this time, I prefer to be closer to a full tank than to empty. And actually, I prefer at three quarters of a tank to go fill up. One time in my younger days, oh, it was too much trouble to go to the gas station. You only did that when it was empty, right on empty, and I, th I thought I had it time to where I was within a gallon or so of what the tank would hold. Well, there were one or two times when I miscalculated and I ran out of gas. Thank goodness we lived in a small town, a very small town. So it wasn't that difficult to get the gas. Here in Lubbock, I believe that would be a little more challenging. You certainly would not want to run out of gas on the loop or on some of these major streets or an access road, actually just about anywhere. And earlier today, while I was on my way to meet with some friends, I was driving along in the far left hand lane, which is what, three lanes over, it's the third lane. And suddenly this dog darted out from in front of the car in the far lane. And I slammed on my brakes. Of course it meant right in the center of my car. I do not know for sure if I actually hit him. I think it kind of bumped him. The little dog jumped up and went running off and was not limping or anything. I would like to have gone to check on the dog, but there's two lanes of traffic to get ahead and by the time I get turned around and over there, I'd probably never find that little dog. really 
dangerous in the traffic, kind of traffic we have here. I'm so glad I wasn't rear-ended, because I mean, I hit the brakes hard. And these Hellcats have these Rimbo brakes, and they stop fast. You can do a hard, fast. It threw everything on the floorboard. So the regular, normal vehicles would not have been able to keep from hitting me. And of course, they probably wouldn't have been able to see that dog anyway by suddenly coming to a stop, dead stop in the middle of a busy street. Let's see, so it would be six, a seven lane street is not very good. residential right over there to the side go across two lanes of traffic then turn around and make u-turns trying to find it and no telling how many streets it would have taken me to go on down I probably not even found the street that where it actually happened so that's my story I feel so bad about that because I love animals dogs certainly don't want to hit anything let's see there's a jeep in front of me there's a pickup not sure what that is I'm not really great about cars if it's something I've owned I know what it is and if I can see their logo okay it's a Kia there's a Chevy there I really believe I need to move to this side of town so I'm closer to this gas station. Because I seem to need to visit here very frequently. our favorite pumps. This girl has a severe drinking problem for sure and it's getting very very expensive. It's just too expensive. So our trips are being cut back. Everyone have a wonderful day. Talk to you later.